Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures. It is time once more for our weekly painting progress. So lo and behold, I actually got some stuff painted from Sparkle Trout this week. And we have a stasis drop pod type thing. And I don't know who made it or where he found it, but he definitely printed it. And you'll have to supply me those details later on, but it came out pretty nice. Looks to be right in scale with some of the other stuff that he went ahead and printed and painted. Now, this is an interesting model, and I know that the designer has asked not for any direct publicity. So we won't mention who made it, uh, but it is absolutely based on the Chaos... Traitor Marine, not me, Marines. Traitor Guardsmen from uh, Vibe Fortress. Right? Yeah. So you can see here their armor is much more refined. Not that they're uh, all that nice about things with the grenades and the cleavers, but yeah. So we'll be having some more of those, hopefully, in the future from Sparkle Trout. And in addition to those, he went ahead and finished up another bestiarum figure that has been waiting for some paint. I think that's just about all the cultists that bestiarum has put out at this point. A lot of those were originally in their welcome box. And I think they've popped up in a few of their later releases, but for the most part, I think we've, we've got them all painted up. I'll have to double check. So that's what he got done. Me, I actually got a big bestiarum thing finished as well. This guy has been sitting on the table for some time waiting to get finished. This is the Gorm. Not from Kingdom Death. That's this guy missing his lantern light. But This is the bestiarum Gorm who also has too many limbs too many spikes, <laughs> too many skulls, too many eyes, too many everything. Not enough horns, I guess. But he came out all right. I'm relatively satisfied with him. If you can zoom it out a little bit there, you can get a better look. He's a big dude. He makes a nice centerpiece. He's still a little shinier than I would hope. But that's easily fixed further on down the line. The issue I always have with Bestiarum, and just to be nitpicky for a moment, are these bases. Like, I have no idea what to mount this on. It's just such a weird shape. I'm like, looking around, trying to find something. That's too big. So a 100 millimeter base is gonna be too big, maybe an 80. I don't know. So anyway, besides him, what else do we get done? Uh, a random Perry miniature. Another foot knight. And I forget which box that's from. I'll have to double check. I've got quite a few Perry boxes open and bits all over the place, so it's hard to say these days where things come from. I think that is the only actual physical model that I got done this week. We painted up a samurai from one of the Lovecraft Kickstarters. They do predominantly 3D printing. And they had an Asian Adventures one. I think it didn't come out as nice as I'd like. And at least on camera, the reds and the browns unfortunately look like they're all kind of blending together. Which is a bit unfortunate. He's also kind of big. Or maybe he's not. So it's just grabbing a old North Star guy. I don't think I ever had a video on him. Hmm. Actually, he scales pretty decently with both brands there. Well, huh. What about with a Bushido figure? Eh. I feel like his proportions are thicker. Anyway. So we got him done. Let's see if I get in some more of those samurai finished up. Whoops. And then we got another Cobra Mode model. This is a Bundabura. Little platypi people. 
This is like the chemist or apothecarist who had the wombat driven cart. And now looking at it, I want to fix up those bifocals a little bit. Kind of kind of not as exciting. I want to at least fix the lenses, I think. Let's see what else we got here. A random beast man from Cast and Play who is way more glossy than I would like still. It took me a moment to figure out where his head was. Here's his nose and his eyes on the sides. It's an interesting pose, to say the least. I wasn't sure what to do with him. Yeah, you are super glossy, dude. For shame. They have kind of a tribal First Nations style look going on with them. One of these days I'll finish up their big giant minotaur. He is a minotaur. Check out his horns there. I was going to say antlers. That's not right. And then last but not least, I don't think I've ever shown this model off on the channel, well, ever. Um, this is one of the hobgoblins that Lost Kingdom Miniatures was doing on their Patreon. So this is like a champion model. There's just a lot to take in with this guy. There's the armor, there's like padded leather, there's furs, there's the ornamentation on his blade, there's the dwarf head, the skulls and the hair hanging off the banner poles, the crow. There's just a lot of different stuff going on. I've got it really zoomed in. I'm not liking that at all, but that's okay. The shield, which I did a terrible job on. The quiver, the bow. So yeah, there's just a bunch of stuff on this guy. And now it's all... There we go. I wasn't sure what to do for his tunic there. I ended up painting it kind of silver and metallic. But I could totally see that being done like quilted armor as well. That would totally work. This is just a fun little model. I don't have many other hobgoblins. And if I do, I don't know where they are. I've printed a few. Not that I've painted them. Oh, I don't know about you guys. It's just been a very, very busy week. I had two different in-service slash conferences, which really suck up all my time as a teacher because it's like I have to do double the work because i got to make sure everything is set. And then I have to play catch-up for when I get back and the substitutes inevitably don't do everything they need to. And then we had our son's birthday. And then my wife was busy subbing as well, because one of the teachers at her school was sick. And that wasn't planned, so yeah. Um, I'm happy I got anything painted, and I'm happy to see that Sparkle Trial was busy painting as well. I'm going to nag him again. Hopefully we will see his big, giant, dark Mechanicus Tyranid thing one of these days. And I know he's got some more stuff from the Maker's Cult that he wants me to get printed up for him. Me, personally, I'm busy printing up all of the new Cobra Mode stuff for October. If you haven't seen it, there's some really fun stuff. They have a giant flying spectral ghost with, like, masks all of various Cobra Mode races. Uh, there's all kinds of fun stuff. Anyways, I, I'm, I'm rambling and I'm hungry, so I'm going to go eat dinner. And hopefully uh, we will be back with plenty more painted stuff. Especially since I don't have to plan for birthdays or lesson plans, well, any more than I usually do. So, with that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching, and we will see you back here soon. Bye bye.